Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my script to control link alpha value according to the distance to the current camera. Let me show you how it will work. Okay, uh, when object is close to the camera it becomes more transparent and when it's uh, far away it becomes more solid. Uh, and uh, of course I have here uh, two modes of transition. Uh, left one has um, a linear transition and uh, the right one has a smooth transition. Uh, let me show you. Uh, yes, from, uh, from with these values of uh, power uh, smoothness uh, for near point and far point, uh, both of them uh, have uh, have a, uh, the same um, the minimum and maximum distance uh, between zero and then one hundred alpha. It is uh, one hundred uh, for the near clamp clamping and uh, one thousand for the farthest distance. Okay. Uh, so now it let me show you in animation how it works. Okay, of course you can use uh, both of this um, system of transition uh, because uh, both of them really good uh, works uh, for different situation. Let me go to the next example, uh, more practical. Yeah. Just take a look, uh, we have a screen on your virtual set and uh, when I try to fly through this object, fly through this screen, I have just this effect, okay? Um, of course, if I turn off my script, I will get this very ugly effect. You, you, do you want it? I don't want it. So, let's return this script here. And now I have pretty nice effect. Of course, uh, sometimes you need to fly more closer to the object. And of course, for this one, we have to change these uh, settings. For example, from standard, uh, uh, we can change this value. For set, for example, five. And. Uh, uh, and now, of course, uh, my settings is too, uh, is, uh, is really too much uh, for this uh, ability. So I put uh, the zero value to the disease value. Okay, and uh, let's fly more closer as we as we can. Oh, let me let me change here value also. And here you can see I have this effect of cutting plane. And of course, I don't want it. I have to find this some value to make sure that is not you know, the object will be um, invisible for this distance. For example, I can put seven uh, from maybe to make it more smoother from twenty. Okay, and let's fly again. Yeah, now it works much, much, much better. And uh, just take a look. Mm. Now for this example, I uh, I use my second uh, mod uh, calculation of distance of the distance. Uh, this is about uh, distance to the bounding box. For example, I can I can calculate the distance to the bounding box as you see this uh, pink um, rectangle around my object, and of course it works from each side and. Uh, I can fly very closer, but it depends uh, how closer I I am to the object according to the bounding box, not only central pivot point. Okay, of course you can change these settings, but uh, you will get this strange and un inappropriate effect. Of course, in this case, of I use uh, we have to use uh, bounding box di um, distance. And uh, take a look at uh, one interesting point. I have a fake um, shadow under my screen. So if I turn off, turn off this um, plugin, I will get... It's not turning off. <laughs> okay, let me delete it. Yeah, and now just take a look. I have really big bounding box around the screen. I don't want it and uh, of course um, we have um, this uh, standard plugin bounding box into the container category. Just put it here 
and set zero everywhere. Oops. Again, it works not like I want it. Hey, please, please work. Yeah. Okay. Now, bounding box of this object is zero, so now it doesn't change the uh, bounding box of my original um, original screen. So now I can calculate the diff distance to the object more um, uh, more properly and yeah, more accurate. Yeah, that that just I want it. Okay, uh, let me show you the next uh, example with this nice uh, columns and a beautiful woman uh, just to be more explanatory uh, I will ret I'm returning uh, the near clipping plane to the 50 just uh, in order to make um, this works more obviously let me turn off these scripts on each columns just take a look how it will work without my script. Yeah. Do you want it? No. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, return my script again. Yeah, no, 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 it's good. It was pretty good. So let me show you how it will work with animation. Just imagine uh, the camera is moving around. Just take a look on the on the columns now, especially on the right side, how smoothly it disappeared and appeared again. Of course, in real uh, camera movement, it should be more more smoother, uh, not so fast as I show you now. Yeah. Okay. And uh, just uh, imagine if I have some interesting object, for example, uh, some billboard. You can you can see this object always return to the camera. Uh, it works uh, by this standard uh, plugin after rotation with settings of uh, billboard uh, with Y billboard axis. And uh, this is just rotated uh, to the camera every every each frame. Okay, and uh, when I want to fly through this object, I get this nice effect. Okay, of course, let's take a look how it will work without the script. Mm, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want this effect. Okay, let me turn it on again. Yeah. Now it looks pretty nice, and of course uh, you, we can put several of these objects. Let me try it, and woo, woo, woo. nice effect. So feel free to use this script, and uh, I hope it will be useful for you. And bye bye.